what is this, a biker convention? Biker and Larry the Lumberjack convention? Get off there. Hey, cut that out. Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is day 42. Uh, so, Horde Night tonight, I went around uh, off camera to, uh, let's see, we went to the uh, the Snow Trader, and then we went to the Desert Trader, and of course, we've been to our own trader, and I have not found any concrete from these guys, and it's like starting to be a little bit concerning. So, the only other trader that we know of right now is uh, our wasteland trader uh, so let's run over there and see if we can get some concrete from them um, I went over to the horde base last night too did a couple of upgrades um, on it with what I have but I'm, I'm very very low on concrete so yeah just a little bit concerned about that I'm not too worried about that base holding up if it you know for 42 if it was reinforced concrete but it isn't <laughs> It's mostly, it's mostly bricks. So I'm a little bit worried. A little bit worried. Right, do I have my money with me? Yes, I do. Okay. I'm just going to check him again uh, just to make sure he hasn't reset uh, today. I don't think he has, but I'm just double checking. Are you a customer? So he's, yeah, this is the same stuff he had because remember I was thinking about maybe getting this impact driver schematic. Um, Yeah, and he doesn't have anything in here That's either. Okay. For me today. So the last place to check is the trader in the wasteland, and I sure hope to goodness that that trader has some concrete for us. If they don't, then uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting horde night. Uh, I am making a bunch of pipe bombs. Uh, we are going to rely upon explosives uh, to, uh, you know, to fight the zombies. Uh, we'll we'll have our sledgehammer and all that stuff too, of course. But um, yeah, we'll just have to you know keep the pressure up, I guess, on the explosions. So there's minimal direct damage from the Zekers. <clears throat> the other thing I discovered is I can't make an iron door because I need a tier 2 workstation, so uh, we're stuck with, again, that wooden door that's reinforced, so we're really going to have to watch the health on that thing, too, uh, as the night progresses. But, you know, we'll, uh, we'll do the best we can with what we have to work with. That's all there is to it. It's just progression has been slow because this is undead leg scene. It takes longer to get stuff done. And, um... It is what it is. So, anyway, let's uh, head over uh, to our wasteland trader and see what they have. And then while we're over here, uh, we'll probably, you know, do some additional looting and stuff anyway. Um, in fact, why don't we go ahead and... Is this our... This isn't our entryway, is it? Where are we at? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. I was going to say maybe we could go cross country in a different spot, but... I'd rather just get, see if we can get some concrete secured so we can finish upgrading the horde base and reinforcing it and making sure it's ready to go. So we'll just go through here. All, all of these cars and stuff in this general vicinity, have, or most of them anyways, I've already looted, so. It's so nice to have this motorcycle, man. It is way faster than the mini bike. Gas mileage uh, or gas consumption on it's not actually too bad either. It's it does use more gas than the mini bike, it seems, but it's not. I, I still think, you know, it's manageable for us. I mean, eventually we'll be able to make our own gas, but the hold up on that is uh, the something or other. I don't know. I can't remember the top of my head, but it, it's very expensive for one thing. Um, oh, I did also buy a um, an H level Valkyrie drill. Uh, from one of the traders, and I bought um, a uh, another beaker because we needed it. We need another beaker for the gasoline thing, uh, gasoline schematic. So I'm hoping we luck out and just find the gas schematic, though. But we'll see, you know, how things pan out here. I've also given more thoughts to where where we're gonna move to, and I just I just don't know, you guys, if I can t uh, resist the temptation of the loot in the wasteland here so we might end up just moving to the wasteland find find a building call it our call it our home i'm trying to check and see if that buzzard's still following us all right uh, maybe we got away from it because we're, we're so fast now i'm not sure anyway let's go see if uh 
Trader Joel has some concrete for us. Hello, traveler. Hello, Trader Joel. Let's take a look at your inventory. Oh, thank the Lord he does. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, that is good. That makes me feel a little bit better about things because I was starting to sweat it a little bit. He's got a beaker, too. Um, but we already have the one beaker. I don't know if we're going to need two beakers. Yeah, we probably won't. Yeah. Uh, all right, so this is very, very, very good. Now, I don't want to spend all of my money on this, of course, but um, we need we need to do it. So how much is the awesome sauce? It's $12.75 all by itself, um, and it's going to give us a 10% discount, plus if we pop a... Uh, oh, please tell me I brought a freaking... Oh, did I not bring a doggone, uh, whatchamacallit, sugar butts? Oh, I can't take me anywhere, you guys. Uh, that's too far... It's too far to run back. I mean, I could do it, but son of a bitch. That would have saved us some money. Okay, well, whatever. It is what it is. Let's look at a secret. What's this? A steel greatsword. Interesting. Okay. A raven, yeah. Like, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Maybe sometime, though. These steel gloves would be a nice upgrade, but we'll eventually find stuff like that. So, how much for the car? Yeah, a little expensive. A little bit expensive there. Okay, well, um, I'll tell you what then. Let's uh, let's see how much of this we can buy. Uh, I don't want to spend... Oh, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's see how much we can buy with half of our coin. Okay, so we're going to split this in half. And if I don't feel like that's enough, then we'll buy some more. Okay, well, let's just see how much we can buy with this. So we do have our, uh, our 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 stove again. So we st we are getting a ten percent discount, but we could have gotten more if I would have thought to bring that damn candy. Okay. Anyway, so um, can we buy a hundred? Oh yeah, we're not gonna. That's already th up to thirty eight. I I I want at least two hundred, you guys. We're just gonna have to lose most of our money on this deal but we got to survive the horde night we just do i do not want to die on the horde night i don't want to die anymore at all in this game because the penalty sucks all right so uh let's go back to here can we we probably can't even afford 300 holy crap 300 is eleven thousand. okay what about 250 okay we can what about 275 10 we're just a bit shy of that. Let's, let's do 270. No, we can't even do 270. All right. How about 265? There goes all of our money <laughs> for only 26 block upgrades. Well, I mean, that's if we're doing full block upgrades. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. Uh, that's what. If that's what we got to do to survive, that's what we got to do to survive. I, I would very were... much like to find a cement mixer schematic, though. I uh, have not come across one of those yet. Okay, so uh, let's go back to town, to our town, and over to the Horde base and just make sure that it's ready to go. And then once we do that, we might come back here and do one of the quests uh, or even maybe just do some random wasteland loading. We'll see. Uh, but I'll see you guys over at the Horde base. Okay, guys, we're actually back at the base. Um, I'm going to grab the pipe bombs that we currently have cooking up there. And let's also grab, uh, we got some Atom Junkies, some Skull Crushers. Um, I'm going to start carrying these sugar butts in the motorcycle that way, uh, now that I have an inventory. Uh, okay, so let's grab that. Uh, we're going to want, what are we going to want for meds? We're going to want some honey. I uh, already got some vitamins, steroids. We got bandages. I need to actually make some more bandages too. How much uh, alacrim do I currently have? 74, look at that. Uh, and we got those two. I think we can make those right in our inventory, right? Look at that. 34 bandages, and we still have 40 alacrim to boot. Awesome. So, yeah, here is that beaker that I got. Um, here is the uh, Valkyrie drill. Yeah, right here uh, that we got, too. It's just a, an H level. I don't remember how much it cost. Any extra medicine out there. I'll buy it off of you for a discount. But anyway, that's going to come in handy when it 
comes time for us to start mining, but I'm not carrying it around with me because it's very heavy. So we'll only use it when we're actually mining. We'll just use the pick for breaking normal blocks and stuff like that. Uh, okay, so we've got the candy we need. We got some honey. Uh, we're working on bandages. Uh, coffee. Let's make sure we have plenty of coffee. I'm just going to take both of those so we can keep our stamina up for sledgehammer usage. I have a total of 12 repair kits uh, on me. So we will want to make sure that our sledgehammer is fully repaired. But if it if it doesn't last the whole night, um, you know, then I'll just have to use burn a repair kit on it. Hopefully it will, but we'll see how things go. Okay, I have a little more concrete back at the base too. The other thing I was thinking maybe I should do is bring a second hammer, except for I guess I don't have a second hammer. I thought I did. Huh, okay. Well, same thing. I mean, if the hammer doesn't last the entire night, the hammers tend to have pretty good durability. But if it doesn't last the entire night, then, you know, we'll we'll just have to burn a repair kit on it, too. As far as ammunition goes, uh, we're going to want all of our 5.56s five and all of our shotgun shells. That's getting us a little overweight now. Uh, but, you know, whatever, because eh, we're going to actually go store most of this stuff anyway. Oh, and I got 60 more pipe bombs in here, too. Look at that. We have 142 pipe bombs. Yowzers. Okay. So explosives are going to be the star of the show uh, for this horde night. And I should probably, I'm not going to, we might actually get to put another point in here, uh, but we're going to have to boost intellect uh, to do that. So, I mean, it's worth boosting intellect anyways. So if we can get two more points tonight, uh, which we very likely will, We'll put another point into int, and then we can boost demolitions up to the next level, too, uh, just so that's going to help us. Okay, so we are, like, super heavy right now. Uh, I know I have more stuff to repair, but let's just get over to uh, the horde base. And I'm going to use some of the concrete that we have to reinforce some, you know, some of the most critical blocks, and then the rest we need to save for repairing uh, during the night. So I think we'll have enough to make this work. Still wish, you know, I'd feel a little more comfortable if we had a little bit more than we currently do, but we got to work with what we have to work with. Okay, so let's park you right there. Um, yeah. And I'm actually not going to be able to jump up there, am I? Because we're too heavy. Okay, so we're going to have to do this in a couple of trips. Let's open up the, the storage. Uh, what is the heaviest thing? The concrete is. Um, well, this probably is, actually. Can we jump there? Yeah, all right. And, you know, as, it, whoops. As you guys have probably noticed, I've been using uh, pipe bombs on a quote-unquote day-to-day basis, too, which is always good. Okay, so let's put those in there. Uh, so we have a total of 358 concrete. Trying to think what else would I want to put in here right at the moment. Okay. Uh, so so let's see. I would like to have 200 on hand for repairing throughout the evening. That means there's 15 blocks here that we can... Uh, well, okay, let's, let's make it 16. That means there's 16 blocks here that we can actually... Uh, upgrade. So we've got to figure out what is the absolute most critical. This is already upgraded, um, you know, to, to concrete, so we're good there. Um, I'm thinking maybe, well, it looks like we have a spot here that we got to hit. Uh, I thought I already got all that. I guess I must have missed those two spots. Uh, so I did upgrade this to, to concrete, um, but I, I'm thinking maybe we should hit our ramp first because that's uh that's pretty integral to this base working for us if that ramp breaks then we're in trouble because then they'll focus on taking the actual building itself down so why don't we um upgrade this one and this one that one technically isn't actually even necessary at all uh, let's upgrade this to concrete and this and this and I think this one here requires that one uh, for support. So we'll upgrade that to concrete too. And we really should probably hit these as well. 
Okay, because that's our what you might call our critical path right there. If that goes down, we are screwed. Uh, okay, so how much concrete do we have left? We have enough to do 11 more blocks. Okay, let's look at the structure itself. So we have one, two, three, four. So we, if we did the corners, that would be eight. Um, and I think we should. Okay. Oh, is that only using... That's only using 5 per, not 10 per. Oh, nice. Okay. I just realized that. That's really good. That gives us more, more to work with here then. Okay, so now the next thing is, like I said, I'm not worried about this block here. If it breaks, it's not going to cause this block to break. So I think we're okay there. Um, so now, what would be the next? That we, we either reinforce the structure some more, uh, or we hit some of these blocks up here. Um, you know, these some of these critical blocks up here. So if we have, uh, if we had 80 left, then that means, let's see, 5 goes into 80, 14 times, something like that, 15 times, 16 times, 20 times, no, 20 times, yeah, 20 times, except for we only have 79, we, we could fudge on that a little bit though, because the reason we have an odd numbers because of we did a little repairing too so we can actually if i'm calculating this right we should be able to do 20 more blocks right am i calculating it right i don't know um so i think the next most important blocks are probably going to be these ones here so let's see what it does yeah that only used five blocks okay good so let's hit these two all right good good now, um, this one doesn't really get hit that much. These angled ones kind of get hit a bit, and they kind of help to funnel the Zombaroos into me and not encourage them to jump over here. So I think we should probably hit those two. Maybe not the top ones, but at least, at least these here. Okay. Uh, like I said, we don't tend to get a... A ton of damage on these top blocks so I think I'm gonna leave those as brick for now since you know we're our, our resources are limited here so we got the corner of those buildings now do we have enough to do these corners so we're gonna need eight more or need to do eight more um, and eight times five is 40 so if my math is correct and boy I don't claim to have really good math I wonder if we instead of doing it on the corner if we should do it a little closer to where we're actually standing. So maybe reinforce uh, three blocks over this way. So one, two, th so this one here, because that corresponds with this inner wall. And if this back part of the building went down, I mean, it wouldn't be, that wouldn't uh, be a disaster, I don't think, because we'd still, yeah. Yeah, so I'm thinking that might make the most sense. So let me just make sure. So we need to go three blocks in, so we're reinforcing this inner wall here. Okay, so that means we start here. Um, I think I'm going to have to break these out of the way. There we go. Okay. So now it's the Kunky... Olco. <laughs> it's the Kunky Olco. Now, let's do the same thing on this side. So again, we need to go... Uh, an, oh, we need to go four blocks over, right? Wait, is that right? Yes, four blocks over. Okay, so one, two, three, four. So it's this one here. There we go. That should have used up all of that concrete. And I'm feeling much better about things now, ladies and gentlemen. Much better about things. We have reinforced our uh, our our combat area uh, with the most critical blocks. We've reinforced the ramp 
with reinforced concrete and we've reinforced the the overall structure with the reinforced concrete so i'm i'm feeling pretty good about things i should probably bring one of those metal chest that we've looted from the end loot here and replace this box because if that got hit by a cop spit or something uh we'd be in bad shape all right now how badly damaged is that that is so minuscule that i don't think i want to waste a concrete on it um so we still have 197 left over for repairing during uh during the actual horde night very good very very good indeed uh the scrap iron i think is what we need to repair the door right let me just double check that yeah scrap iron okay so how much do i have 135 hmm. we might want to grab a little bit more of that too because we have got to keep that door repaired it's going to be really important uh, throughout the horde night but yeah i'm feeling pretty good about this and so um i think we're as ready as we can be with what we have to work with yeah i really wished i could have made a metal door for that you know what i didn't actually check to see if the traders have a metal door for sale i was completely not looking for that and if they did you know i might still not have noticed it let's grab these pipe bombs here and we'll put those in the storage let's keep like 20 of them with us in case we want to use them later today uh, we'll put that in there but like i said i want to bring some more scrap over when we come over to do the actual horde night itself okay well i hope uh i hope i didn't forget anything wouldn't be a bad idea to get another skull crushers and maybe some atom junkies too we should maybe go well except for guess what i don't have any money left i mean <laughs> pretty much no money left all right well very cool um so what do we want to do for the rest of this episode we don't have a ton of time left i'll tell you what i think we're gonna do i think i'm gonna cut the camera and i'm just gonna kind of piddly fart around maybe do some mining for the rest of today and then we'll start the horde night uh in this episode so I, i'll bring you guys back when the horde night starts and i think we'll we'll be able to fit it in because i'm not i'm probably not going to show you the whole entire thing at least not in normal time we'll probably do some time lapse because after a while you know it starts to get to be the same thing over and over but boy, do we ever get some nice XP from it, that's for sure. All right, you guys. Well, I will see you um, when the Horde Night starts. All right, guys. We are back, and the Horde Night is about ready to start. So uh, we should be good to go. I got 100 pipe bombs on my toolbar. I put this uh, reinforced chest up here and put this little doohickey on the outside to protect it from cop spit. And we got some extra supplies in here, uh, including 42 more pipe bombs. And um, we also... I got another point. I was I did a little bit of mining, and because we we wear the intellect glasses or the nerdy glasses on Horde Night, we already have an effective three, which means we can now go ahead and put another point into Demolitions Expert, getting us up to two, 20% more damage, 20% better aim. That probably only counts for the rocket launcher stuff. 20% greater dismemberment chance. So that's going to help uh, quite a bit on the Horde Night tonight. And yeah, uh, I think, like I said earlier, we're about as prepared as we can be. So in uh, you, my usual fashion here, I'll keep you guys with me for the first part of this. Uh, but once things get underway, we'll probably go ahead and put some tunes on and time lapse it for the rest of the evening. Oh boy, here we go, you guys. Horde 42. <laughs> it's going to be, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, but hopefully we'll get uh, some good point action here. Um, so let's go ahead and just get started with uh, these candies here. Uh, we have three um, Adam Junkies and three of the Sledgehammer ones. Okay, let's start bashing heads. That's a pretty good head bashing there. I'm I'm so. Uh, I feel good that we were able to get what we got upgraded, uh, you know, to reinforce concrete because I was really quite worried about it, you know. Oh, we got to back up just a little bit here. Okay, let's go ahead and give them some explosion action there. Very nice. And like I said, we've got to make sure that door stays in good shape 
for the night here. Whoops. Very nice. We're gonna be pretty uh, generous with the with the pipe bombs, too. I think we need to for the sake of you know for the sake of the base. So you know if there's only a couple three up here, I'll sledgehammer them. But once they start building up, you know then we're gonna be pipe bombing. Look at those heads popping. It's a beautiful thing. Jiggly, get down from there. And the knockdowns too. I love them. So useful. The nice thing about this iron sledge too is it's a little bit easier on the stamina than the steel one is, even though the steel one packs more of a punch. All right, let's go ahead and do a bomb here. And then we're gonna drop the door here real quick and just check stuff and make sure. Yeah, see, they're really pounding on that block out there, aren't they? Just check this stuff, make sure it's all in reasonably good shape here. Everything looks good there. Okay. All right, come on back, Zombos. Get off of there. Sledgehammer skills improved to 49. Beautiful. And we got a copper. Okay. Let's blow him up. I love it. I love it. I love it. Got more glowing, like a cop spitting somewhere else, maybe? Not sure. Yeah, this. Oh, wow, he tagged us. Oh, man, you shouldn't have jumped up there when we threw our bomb down. That's hacks. That's total hacks. There we go. All right, we're about halfway to the next level. Not so bad so far. Let's see if I can get out of line of sight of those coppers a little bit. Okay, that's a pretty nice group. Cub Bluey, we got 44,000 XP there. Well, no, I think it's still building from before. That wasn't in just one shot. Okay, let's do another bomb and then we better check and see how we're doing repair wise. One more to really clear them out of there. Okay, let's drop that and see how we're doing. Okay, that's taking a little bit of pounding. A lot of that's from the cops, but I think though. That's taking a pounding. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I do want to be somewhat conservative with my repair materials here. How's that one out there doing? I'm trying to get out of here. Holy shit, you're beating the crap out of me. I was trying to get to the to the door there. All right, we need one of these. And I think that takes care of everything that ails us. All right, yeah, I was trying to get to that one there. Okay, let's get this back up before they start hammering on uh, everything else here. Okay, come on, big mama. 
cops are a pain in the butt. Just about to the next level. Is he still spitting even when I get out of the way? It looks like he is. No, you don't. No, no blow it up. No! Shit, we didn't need that to happen. Oh, he destroyed the door. Oh, man, I should have shot him. Okay, um, plan B. Plan B is to... i got to wait for that cop to get out of there, and then we're going to have to just put blocks down here. That's all I can do. I really wish we could have um, made a, an iron door, but I just didn't have any way to do it. Okay, so let's put those there. And, uh, yeah. We'll probably have to... Re replace them a few times. I guess I could upgrade them, but then I won't have any way to take them out, you know. But we have to keep them pathing up here to us, or things will not go well for us. Nice. Okay. All right, we got our next skill point. Awesome. Um, let me grab some boards out of here so we can just kind of keep those guys repaired. Oh, I think that was going to fall down lower. Maybe that one too. All right, that one will go. Beautiful. All right, you guys. Well, um, this is pretty much what's going to happen for the rest of the night. So I think we're going to go into time lapse mode. We'll put some tune on, tunes on for you. And enjoy the rest of the Horde night. And pray for me because I don't know if I'm going to survive this or not. <laughs> All right, let's do this.
Morian we've survived the hard night. Tap it. Clear up the, the remnants here. And uh, I have a feeling we've got a lot of bags to check out. We've got almost four levels out of this night, which is pretty darn good. Uh, let's pop one of these. Bit more explosive action there. Almost out of bombs here. Okay, let's see if we can clear the rest out with the sledgehammer. These guys are all softened up here. Chammer skill has improved 51. Right, let's uh, hit all this while we have a chance here. I'm surprised those uh, wooden locks held up all night, but they sure did. did a good job. Oh, this is a biker convention. Biker and Larry the Lumberjack convention. Get off there. Hey! Our group knockdown. This guy needs to die. Let's wait for this other one to come up and see if we can get a group swing here. Whoops. Come on, boys. Be done. Let's be done with this. There we go. All right, we got that last point, man. It's amazing. Get out of here. Whew. Okay. We have two pipe bombs left. <laughs> we we had 140 some odd uh, when we started the night. Uh, started the night, and we have two left. <laughs> That's awesome, though. It's uh, this really worked out well. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed or not, but. Uh, I took, uh, when I, once I got up to three more points, I took, uh, the next intellect, uh, and then the next demolitions expert. So, uh, I think we, we might as well, I mean, because my horde designs really rely heavily, heavily on demolitions and demolitions isn't, I don't think demolitions is a skill. So you just get better from the perk. Yeah. There's no skill associated with it as far as I know. Um, and, you know, for the other reasons why intellect is going to be good for us, I think we're going to keep pumping this to seven um, or even just an effective seven because we're always going to wear our nerdies on Horde Night. And then that way we can get this to to four uh, and then, you know, get all the benefits of that. So anyway, wow, pretty cool night, man. Pretty cool night. All right, let's put our luckies back on and let's get some eye candy going and let's go start looting here see what we got um, so we want to pick uh, the blue one first that's gonna be the nicest loot okay there we go that do, 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 do. I don't know I'll think about that I'm not sure if we're gonna do anything with that or not okay so we got some bobby pins and stuff there puffer coat here's another blue one for us so that's a nice find very nice find um, that we are gonna use I'm definitely gonna want to make those when we have the resources to do so Okay, ammo, food, meds, all good stuff. Uh, urban combat, armor doesn't slow you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That one is a must-have. Very nice iron gloves. I'm not sure if they're better than what we currently have. Okay, decent scrap sledge, but not up to par with what we have here. Scrap shovel, okay. You know, the thing, too, is when we move to the wasteland and set up our horde base there, I'm assuming these drops will be affected by... Well, it will be because we'll have the higher loot stage. So we'll, we should be getting... Oh, nice. Now, we have one of these, and the actual crucible, but being able to make them, too, is something we're going to want to do because I'm sure we're going to probably want to have more than one uh, smelter when it's all said and done. So we're going to learn... Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, we're taking it. We're taking it. We're taking it. Okay. Okay. That's a nice piece, uh, but actually not as nice as what we're wearing. So, okay. We'll sell it then. Okay, what's this one? Uh, it's 5% less damage from wearing a suit. No, but I gotta I gotta remember what the end um, benefit is of getting you know learning all those magazines. I, I I really am so surprised those wood blocks held up the whole time, but they did. Bravo to them, right? Um, here let's get some stuff in here. Looks like they pushed my motorcycle over a little bit. So heavy stuff first. Uh, yeah, let's take the concrete mix back with us, because I actually have a few things I need to repair at the base, too. Put all of this stuff in here for now. Uh, we do have to watch the weight on the bike, too. Alright. Now, what I want to do is I want to... Uh, I, I want to bring most of this stuff back. Some of this stuff's our tools anyways. Uh, can I grab all of it? Not quite. Okay. We could leave... We could leave this here. We could leave the boards here. We could leave that there. Let's leave half of these bricks and half of this scrap iron. Can I move now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just leave all that stuff there. Now, what I wanted to look at is if we go here to Collectibles and Enforcer, the end result is all shots with 44 ammo penetrate enemies. All shot. Yeah, that is, that's definitely worth having because, you know, I, I like the Desert Vulture, so we'll probably be using it later on. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and learn that, even though the magazine itself isn't really worth a shit because who's ever going to actually wear a suit? You know what I mean? Uh, for this, hmm, I already have a Crippler mod that I found. Yeah, we're gonna learn it that way we know it that way we know it okay all right you guys well horde night 42 in the bag man in the bag uh things up here are in really really good shape um and if we go down here you know we lost some blocks here but overall you know the structure itself held up really good it's these reinforced ones that are the the key the key blocks and those are all in very good shape Excuse me, goodness gracious. It looks like our ramp. Um, ooh, yeah, this uh, this took some damage. That took some damage, and we wouldn't have been able to do... Oh, we have more stuff over here. We wouldn't have been able to do anything about it um, had they broken that. So, hmm. All right, well, that might be a good candidate to upgrade to steel once we get to the point where we can do that. Uh, some damage here, but nothing, nothing super bad, and yeah. All right. Pretty happy with how this Horde Knight turned out. We got four levels. That in and of itself is great. Uh, the loot wasn't super fantastic, but it wasn't bad. You know, it was it was decent. Learned a couple new schematics, that sort of thing. So that's that's the good part. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode and for Horde 42. Um, what we're going to start working on, uh, starting in the next episode, and probably in this in-game day, is we're going to start looking for a permanent place to live. In the wasteland, yeah, I know. <laughs> Living in the wasteland sucks, but it's got the super awesome advantage of mega high loot stage. So I just, uh, I, I think because so much of this game is about getting getting the really good loot, um, you know, so you can fight the zombies better and handle the increasing difficulty of the game as you level up, that sort of thing. I, I think that's that's the right move uh, for me to make. So that is the plan, my friends. We're going to move to the wasteland. So we will spend the next episode um, figuring out where that's going to be. Okay. So with that, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.